And like a lot of things with computers and computer programming, the concept of inheritance is somewhat difficult and somewhat advanced to comprehend. In actual practice, it's relatively easy. You know, uh, you're going to see that once you get a hang of and are able to recognize the extends keyword, you're going to know that inheritance is going on there. And that's pretty much all that needs to be done. It doesn't take a lot of code to use inheritance and to you know, take advantage of it. Uh, knowing what it's doing and knowing why we're putting it in there, that's what takes all the time and the understanding. So this first example here is just a basic program that has inheritance and it's using constructors. So the first thing we call and uh, initialize here is a simple class that we call A. And then we're going to have this class just output a simple line that says that the A class has been constructed and then has been run when we run it in the, in the prompt. Same thing is true here with the next one, class B. Now notice the word, the keyword extends. We say class B extends A. So all of the attributes that we set up here with A, that A was an integer and so forth, is now taken on by class B. And then we just have an output statement that says B constructor. Same thing happening here, class C extends B. And then we have an output statement that says class C constructor. And then when we get down to the lower part of the code here, we see that the public class, in general, we're calling this whole overall class basic inheritance and the public static void statement is listed at the end here so that when we call C, it is going to go to C, go to B, go to A, and then it's going to print A, B, C all in one motion. All right, let's see what happens here. And also, when it comes to compiling this code, now for inheritance and for constructors, I haven't compiled this code yet, and I want to show you the reason why. If I open up our original folder with the files that we're going to use today, notice how all I've got here is the basic inheritance.java file. It has not been compiled yet. All right, let me cancel out of there and go to our prompt. All right, now when I compile this code, we say Java C. Basic inheritance.java. And the code gets, gets compiled. Now, before we run this, let's go back to our text editor here. Now, look at what, what has happened. We started with just the basic inheritance.java file. When I compiled the code, the basic inheritance.class file came up. And notice all of these component parts, all of these inherited classes that extended from each other. We got class A, class B, and class C down here. So you can see that when this particular program was compiled, it just didn't compile the super class, it compiled all of the classes so that they are going to run in conjunction with each other and one class is going to call the other class and so forth. All right, now let's go back to our prompt here and let's see what happens when this program runs. We say Java. basic inheritance and it runs and it just runs and displays the constructors. So you can see the output of this program doesn't look that impressive, but behind the scenes you can see all of these classes and, all, and when it's compiled and all of these files now working with each other as the classes get inherited and extended. All right, let's go to our second example. And in this